Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can transfer ACF fields over to Jet Engine. This was a request for my latest live stream that I created right here. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you haven't checked out this live stream, what I did is I showed you how I created this complex membership website just using like Elementor and some Crockle Block plugins. So one of the mostly heavily requested things was how was I able to transfer some of these ACF fields over into Jet Engine's meta boxes? So that's what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to show you three different uh, ACF fields that you can easily transfer over into Jet Engine. So let's jump into the back end, get started. And here we are on the back end of a demo website I have set up. So what I'm going to be covering in this tutorial is how you can transfer right here a simple text field over into Jet Engine. I'll also show you how to do like a simple checkbox list and then how to do like a photo upload and transfer all that over. So first, let's jump into each one of these and show you how I have everything set up. So this is very simple, this is just a demo. So what I need to do is just give a, a field type. So right here, I'm just doing a regular text field. This is gonna be the easiest one out of all three of them. So just give it a label, and then this right here, just go ahead and start copying all of these different field names uh, into your clipboard, and then we're gonna paste them in Jet Engine later. So every time you create a new field name, just copy that over. And in this case, I'm just gonna keep everything by default. I'm just gonna show this on post. So now this meta field is going to be inside of all your posts. Next, let's jump over into how I have the checkboxes set up. So if I go into here, let's uh, go ahead and just choose checkbox for the very first one. And in this case, I'm just calling this simple checklist. And as you can see, my choices, I just have right here is red, blue, black, white. Very simple for this demo. And then this is important right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is on value. And then same thing, I'm just displaying this on post. And now let's jump into the last one, which is how you can upload a photo. So if I go into here, let me just show you how I have this set up. So this is just a field type called image, and that gives the user the ability to upload an image. And go ahead and just give it a name. Like I said, copy and paste this onto a clipboard or something, because we'll need this in the next part. And the return format, I'm doing an image URL, and then you could choose this one right here all if you wanted or just upload to post, whatever kind of fits your website. And same thing, just display it on post. Okay, so that's the easy part. Now let's jump into a post and let's have it where one of the posts already had those three uh, things already filled out. And then in the next part of the tutorial, I'll show you that when you enable your Jet Engine uh, meta boxes, that information is gonna get transferred over automatically. So really cool feature. So let's just go ahead and create a new post. And let's just call this like ACF to Jet Engine, something very simple. Okay, so right down here are the three uh, that I just created. So let's go ahead and for the simple checklist, let's just choose red and blue. Let's add an image of Garth Brooks. Why not? <laughs> and then a simple text field, let's just do testing. I'm recording this. I always like to put timestamps, so it's like 2.53 in the afternoon. Let me just hit publish. And that's saving. Now let's go ahead, just refresh on here and just make sure that all, you know, stuck to the post correctly. So yeah, those two checks, we got Garth Brooks and we got the testing right here. Now what we're gonna do is jump over into Jet Engine and we're gonna assign some meta boxes. So if we go to Jet Engine under meta boxes, I have this one right here already called Jet Engine Meta Fields. So let me go ahead and just enable everything and show you how I have everything set up. So I just give it a name of like Jet Engine Meta Boxes. Uh, it's for post. And then right down here, enable for post types post. And then right down here, we're gonna have three new meta fields. So let's start with the very first one, and that is the simple text field. So you can give it uh, the same name if you want, but that name field that you have in ACF, make sure you just copy and paste that exactly the way it is right here, because that's how it's gonna like sync up together. And then for this one, it's very simple. Just make sure you choose field and make sure that that matches up to text. And then I left everything else by default. So that one's really easy. Now let's jump into the checkbox and just give it a name. I'm giving it a simple checkbox. This is the same ACF meta field from over here. Uh, in this case, just choosing field. Make sure you choose checkbox right here. And then I figured out this is probably the easiest way to do it is just go to bulk manual input and then you could just type in red, blue, black, and white. So just make sure that these are the same values as what ACF has. And then down here, just make sure you hit save as array. 
That's gonna be really important. I believe this doesn't work if you don't choose that uh, option for checkboxes. And it should work for radio boxes or radio buttons the same. And then right down here, let's go ahead and add one more and it's just calling it simple photo upload. And like I said, this is the same as the ACF meta field. And choosing field right here. In this case, we're using media. And then this is important right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you choose a media ID. And then that's it. So now you can hit update meta box. And now let's jump into that post that we just created and make sure that that all syncs up correctly. So now if I jump over into post, and if we go into the one we just created, we should now have duplicates. So this right here, uh, where it says jet engine meta boxes, I have this all inside of this like collapsible uh, section right here. So this is all using the jet engine. And then down here is the uh, ACF. So you're gonna wanna make sure that when you do this stuff, before you disable the ACF, that this all comes in like this. So now it's being synced correctly. And what you could do is actually do a test. So if I put in uh, 257 now, and let's just choose uh, black right here, and let's change the media to uh, harp. Good beer, one of my favorite beers. Now when I hit save, this should update the ACF as well. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. And you can see uh, right down here, we have just black is chosen. So that was like, what's well, up here? Now we have harp and then now it's 257. So what I recommend if you're doing this process, do like a test page like this, make sure everything's synced up correctly and then you can delete your ACF. So now I can just go ahead and go into my ACF right now. And let me just make these um, deactive. So let me just click each one and just make sure that those are off. So now if we jump back into the post, the ACF to jet engine, you're gonna no longer see the um, ACF down there. So let's just go ahead and just choose red right here, make sure that this all sticks correctly and hit refresh. And that's how you could transfer the three different ACF fields over into something like jet engine. So what I did learn in this uh, use case was some of these ACF fields by, might be a little more complicated to try to like transfer over because of the way it renders out like in the database. So for example, the uh, date picker, um, when I was trying to do a test on this one, the way ACF saves that data to the database is different than like how Jet Engine reads it. So in that situation, you might need some custom code in order to take the ACF field data and change it to a format that Jet Engine would like before it gets saved to the database. So that will require some custom coding. So that's something where using like ChatGPT could come into place, or if you're just, you could just search like the ACF uh, forms and some people have some good documentation on there. So I would say the easy ones would be like the um, names, the, like I showed you the photos were easy, check boxes, radio, those type of things should be real easy to do. But anything that requires like a date or anything like that, you might run into an issue where you have to have some custom coding. But that's it for this tutorial on how to transfer those three different ACF fields over into Jet Engine. Again, this is Mark from Wikidesign.